Revit LT does not have the work sharing feature. If you want multiple user access to the same model simultaneously, you will need to upgrade to the full version of Revit. However, there are many other collaboration scenarios that are possible directly in Revit LT. These workflows leverage the ability to link more than one Revit project file together. In such a workflow, you work in a host model and can link in another model and place it as an element in your project. This linked model maintains a connection back to its original file. When the original file changes, you can update the link to see those changes. Common scenarios would include dividing up a large building project into smaller, more manageable pieces and separating the various disciplines like architectural, structural, or MEP. Let's assume that we wanted to have two people work together on our apartment building complex. We could separate the model into two pieces and make each person responsible for one of the pieces. Using linking, we can keep track of each other's progress. Set up a link is easy. I go to the Insert tab and click the Link Revit button. Here I locate the file that I want to link in and choose where I want it to come in. I'm going to choose the Origin to Origin option and click Open. And as you can see, the file comes in in exactly the correct location since the two files share the same origin. Notice that the entire file selects as a single element. So if you highlight it or click it, the entire thing will be selected. If you want to edit the linked model, you have to close the host model first. So I'm going to go to the application menu, choose the close command. When prompted to save, I'll choose yes. Next, I'm going to open the base building project and make some sort of a change. In this case, I'll just add some simple walls out here in front of the building. When I'm finished, I can close the file, save the changes, and if I reopen the original file, you can see that the update is automatic. However, if both users are working together at the same time on the two different models, you can manually update the link after a coworker makes a save. To do this, you go to the Insert tab, click the Manage Links button. That will open up a dialog where you can select one or more linked files. And down here at the bottom, you can reload it. You can unload it if you'd like to temporarily remove the file. If you want to permanently remove the file, you use this button here. And if you want to reload the file from a different Revit project file, you can click this button and that will bring up a browse dialog where you can choose a different Revit project. Notice that we also have a CAD formats tab here in the dialog. Now I don't have any CAD files currently linked into this project, but you can link in CAD files such as DWGs and MicroStation DGN files in much the same way that we can link in Revit projects. This provides a convenient way for you to collaborate with team members who are not yet using Revit or Revit LT. Linked CAD files will behave similar to linked Revit files and can be reloaded, unloaded, or removed. When you're ready for more robust functionality, you can take the projects that you've built in Revit LT and open them directly in Autodesk Revit. This gives you access to the full features that Revit has to offer, such as work sharing, structural analysis, and energy analysis.